second question. The elimination of the secret ballot has been the most publicized of the issues involving the EFCA or card check. Testimony shows there has been widespread intimidation on both sides of the union issue. Moreover, under EFCA's card check, the union does not need to have the employee's signature witnessed. How will shifting the balance of power in obtaining signatures away from the employers to the unions? Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't know that that was it. All right. Susan Staub. Well, I think the aspect that's being missed in this is we're going all around Robin Hood's barn talking about issues that really aren't important or not related to this, whether unions are good or bad, have nothing to do with this issue or this bill. The truth of the matter is that union officials have been losing elections for the last 50 years. And since they couldn't earn at the bargaining table what they wanted, they've turned to politics to do it. They've invested about $60 million into political races in order to get this kind of legislation. And what's missing in this argument, I mean, they want to try to make this business versus labor as if one is the bad guy and one is the good guy. What hasn't been brought up here and what's very important is what is the individual workers. This is a three-legged stool. And the individual workers in this state have answered every public opinion poll, including union members have answered the poll, that they do not want this. They are far more afraid of the kind of intimidation that could happen to them under this type of situation. I mean, look, they can give out, get the names of the workers and go to their homes. Why would, why would anyone try to obfuscate or obscure what this legislation really does? It's not about whether unions do good or not. In a free nation, everyone should have the right to join a labor union if they want to, but they should also have the corollary right to refrain. This puts both individual workers and small employers into a, into a box that, that the government determines who's going to do what. It isn't right. The, the, the basic and most fundamental aspect of this that, that my organization opposes and our own members who are union members and non-union members are praying that we succeed is they don't want the intimidation. They want to maintain their own choice on their own with their employer and in their own company. There is nothing complicated about this legislation. This legislation turns labor law on its head to be advantageous to the union officials and it is bad for jobs, as Mr. Barr has said, and it is bad for individual workers. We're at time.